happy holidays everyone this is your romantic tarot projecting what romance and love and sex you can expect coming into your life over next weekend so this would be the weekend right after christmas what gifts are popping out let's see let's do this we're gonna go per zodiac sign you know me i take my notes as i go so that i can do the timestamps immediately because when I don't, um, people remind me. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, <laughs> let's do this, though. I'm starting just so that you know Scorpio. So so that you know how this goes. Anyway, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. If this is the first time you're finding my channel, happy holidays. I celebrate Christmas. That's my holiday tradition. What is your holiday tradition? What holidays do you celebrate? I hope that you have a wonderful season of celebrating and romance and love love big love like connective love being in a warm place surrounded by people who really care about you and if not know that listen if you're that low there's only up to go do you know what i'm saying so there's always something to look forward to absolutely now um i as I do these predictions these predictions are what's coming towards you in terms of romance and love per zodiac sign the extended video below is who is coming towards you. An extended video of what's coming towards you in terms of romance and love. What can you expect out to next weekend or next weekend and beyond? So we're going to do those predictions today. Like I said, if you see me writing stuff down, it's my timestamps so that I know where to hit them and, and, and I can put them down immediately. I can, I'll, I'll put them in the comments so that you get them for mobile. And I'll also put them in, in the description box where the extended video link is. Um, Yes, yeah, so you can get it on all platforms, uh, but this is um, tarot card and oracle card reading. Actually, there's no tarot cards on the table. If I need tarot to, um, if I need to use tarot to clarify something, I will. But generally, we don't. We get really wonderful messages. Uh, a specific thing that I'm going to do, <laughs> a special holiday feature of today's reading, <laughs> is If I see in the cards that there is particular tendency toward ho ho hoing, don't you know? I will <laughs> ring my bell, okay, to let you know that there's a little ho 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 up in here, and maybe we need to, and that's something we we need to be warned about. Maybe that's what we wanted for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what maybe that's what we wanted to pop up and out of the stocking. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see where this, this day takes us, where this reading takes us. And a quick reminder, guys, um, there is going to be, I'm going to go on live later on tonight and read, um, and read uh, the New Moon and Capricorn predictions as well as 2020 predictions for each zodiac sign. So that should be a pretty long live. Um, most of those lives last about an hour and a half, two hours. So hop on when you can, drop off when you have to. Um, but I'm glad that you're just dropping in. Think of it as you stopping by my house for the holidays and you're dropping off your gifts just by your presence, if you know what I'm saying. So let's get into the reading. We're going to start with Scorpio at 326. Now, I've already shuffled the cards and I've already meditated on them and cleansed their energy. So we're ready to go. This is who's coming towards you, waiting in the wings. This is what kind of love is coming towards you. Love and romance, if any. And tell, you know me, I will tell you guys. I will tell you guys if there's nothing coming towards you. If there's like, if there's nobody coming towards you, you know that I'll let you know. Um, so let's start Scorpio, not, not where we were, at 4.02. Did anybody see that Star Wars movie? Oh my goodness. I don't know, I have to get myself there. Let's do this. What is coming towards you, Scorpio? Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. <laughs> Amen. Look at it. It goes pop right out. This is, this is your, that's your present. There you go, Scorpio. So miracles and blessings. This tells me that you're not going to be expecting what's going to come towards you next weekend. There's an interesting, beautiful, and relevant shift to your romantic and love life next week. Next weekend, starting next weekend into next week. Um, offers and opportunities, there can be many, but it's definitely faded. It's like it's time. Do you see how it's seasonal in this card? It's time. It's time for this to come to you. It's definitely something that you have been wanting and hoping for. And now you're actually going to be able to touch it 
and hold it in your arms. So this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful weekend for romance. Now, what I'm seeing here is many different options. Um, maybe none of them are something significant. I'll see about that. But I don't think that really matters. What matters is you're generating the energy, Scorpio, of receiving love. You're generating the energy of amorous attention and affection. You're generating the energy of maybe if you're in a long-term relationship, receiving a lot of gifts or being showered with affection and gifts, having somebody demonstrate just how important you are to them. Or if you're single, having numerous people demonstrate just how important you are or how much they take notice of you and how interested they are in you. And because it says miracles and blessings, Scorpio, I've got to say, this is going to kind of sideswipe you. Not necessarily if you're in a long term, but if you are single, these opportunities and these options are going to come out of the blue. It could be that you are just going to holiday parties and you're meeting random people, seeing um, not necessarily people from your past, but just people that you didn't expect to meet or see or have conversations that you didn't expect to have. So be prepared. Don't expect these expectations. Expectations are, I think, a surefire way to miss your blessings. So like I said, be unexpected, you know, be, be, um, lost in the moment and present in where you are. And then just let the miracles come to you because they're on their way. What is your moon card telling me? What do you need to release? Okay. So this is in preparation for receiving, right? In order to receive this to me, is that stamp of approval that says this is actually coming in because when spirit shows up to remind us that we need to release something it's telling me that it's it's reminding you because something new wants to come in it's almost like i will say this it's almost scorpio like something new has wanted to come in for a while but because you've been holding on to something old it has not had the room but now is the time see this is autumn um, now is the time. Autumn is over. We're heading into winter. So autumn into winter, there's this transfer of time. There's transfer of seasons and transfer of energies into something that's a lot more, you know, um, nearby. I'm, it's just near. It's now. It's here. So it's ready for you. Have you let go of all that you needed to let go of? This is a message that maybe you're still holding on to something holding on with, with your with your dear life holding on for dear life and blocking the miracles and blessings that want to come in and you're not you don't notice it you don't realize it but i do think something's going to happen next weekend to kick you out of this cycle of what am i doing if my hands are full how can she receive all the new blessings that are you know coming to her do you know what i'm saying Things want to come to you. I'm, I'm telling you right now, there are blessings that want to come through for you because you're still got one foot and one toe in that old situation. You're still thinking about that person all the time. And I know what you're telling me. You're, you're like, well, what can I do? I can't help my feelings. Yes, you can. Your feelings are an extension of you. You can change your mind and shift your focus. And when you shift your focus, your feelings will follow. All right. That's why I say be present and live in the moment and don't show up to this party. Where's my new love? Or I'm not going to give up my old one. That's not how it works. How it works is I'm over my old one. I don't even think about them anymore. Oh, and now new stuff comes in. There's not this exchange. There's not this barter system with the universe. That's not how it works. It responds to your energy. You are literally creating where you are. So if you have been single for quite some time, there is this energy of you've been stuck. You've been holding on to something. Maybe not someone. Maybe just something. This expectation that every time you walk into the room, something beautiful and amazing has to happen. Why well, can't just... How about this? Just try to be. Don't try to think. Don't try to predict. Don't try to, just don't expect. If you walk into that room in expectation, that's almost like you holding on to your dreams. You don't want to hold on to anything. You want to have your arms wide open so that you can receive all the miracles and blessings. 
that are waiting to come into you and they're shifting. Do you see like the old leaves of fall and she's winter. She's receiving those blessings that were waiting for her pent up in the last season. So something has been trying to come through for you. And the secret is to change your focus and open up your arms wide. All right, here we go. Scorpio, 1010. I love that. Wow. Sagittarius. Sagittarius energy. What is the love message for you this holiday season, Sagittarius? Remember, this is the next seven days out. I mean, this starts next weekend, and I've already done your predictions for the next seven days on the extended video. So be prepared for that and, and just be aware of that, all right? Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. Um, there's an energy of ba basically being in a relationship that may not be as strong as you want it to be. So becoming aware of that. See this new moon sitting over the house? Is what do you want to welcome in? Do you want to welcome in a solid, more a stronger relationship? Or are you ready to admit to yourself that maybe a solid relationship isn't what you want? Maybe there is an issue um, of some sort that you can feel growing, even if you love a person and want them. You feel like there are cracks in the foundation. This is my cracks in the foundation of the house. You know, all the little animals are watching on the outside. Um, they're two by two. All these relationships are sitting around, you know, what is your idea of a relationship? What do you really want out of a relationship? And do you want the same things as your partner? Because you can see that the people are outside of the house, just like the animals. So it's not like they've actually found the solid ground. So this They've not actually found where they belong. So it could very well be that you and your partner are still trying to get into sync with where you want to be. It could be literally you're going out house shopping. You have to, you want to find where you're going to take root. But it's usually an indication that there you haven't, you are with somebody that you haven't, you haven't found who you really want to be with and you still have to search or there's issues with the, the relationship that have to be addressed or it will crack apart. So let's see what the moon energy has. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. You know, this definitely then, this could definitely be um, a sense of, it's your confidence itself that is the crack, is how you feel about yourself is keeping people from loving you. Um, and this is finding a, finding a way to heal yourself, finding a way to love yourself. This is very complimentary energy to you because it's your, your sister sign of Leo. So Sagittarius, I don't know if you're dealing with an actual Leo, but there is this energy of the, the crack in your relationship. If there's any sort of issues that you're having with your relationship, it's stemming from lack of confidence in yourself. So getting together with yourself this, this coming weekend, not getting together with yourself, but realizing that maybe it's not your partner. It's not, it's, this is starting to sound like it's not you, it's me. And it's not, I mean, that literally could be what you're saying to somebody, but I think it's deeper than that. I really do. I think that you might actually have a wonderful partner, but there are issues that are deep down inside of you that are keeping you from really feeling at home and walking through that threshold. So this would be a great weekend to address that because Sagittarius, you are really, you have a lot of love energy around you this week. You have a lot of this coming week. So there, this is a great time to like get your communication on and say what you need to say because people will be open and receptive to hearing what you need to say. And this isn't, I don't think, a criticism on somebody else. I think this is an understanding that, oh, I've been doing this. I've been contributing. I don't feel good enough for this person. That's why I don't really want to be with them yet. Um, but is this energy, but you're sitting outside of this door, you're looking, you want a relationship, you want something to work out. This is that, this is that understanding of yourself, of realizing that there's something deep down inside of you that needs to be fixed, that you need to love yourself, that, that, that you are valuable and worthy of love. And even if you don't feel, you didn't feel even through your childhood, that anybody loved you right. This is the realization that even broken, you're beautiful, right? It's like, the, okay, so there are cracks in me. I need somebody who loves cracks. 
seriously, will love my cracks and my bumps and my bruises. And I think that's <clears throat> really what I'm trying to say is that find somebody who loves your bumps and bruises. Find somebody who loves your imperfect. Have enough confidence in yourself to know that imperfect is beautiful, that your imperfect is beautiful. Wow. All right, Sagittarius. This is the perfect week to do it. This is great love energy coming at you. All right. Sagittarius, let's, let's move to Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. Mm. Capricorn energy coming at you this week. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. Okay, so this is either somebody in your life that's demonstrating love and affection for you. Coming in next weekend, you may have taken aim and pointed that arrow and somebody is aiming back. Somebody wants you to. You're finding, you're finding that people are very um, loving towards you and want to help you, want to take care of you. This is the energy. But it also could be you wanting to just support somebody and love them and give your all to them. This could very well be that if you're in a long-term relationship, somebody needs you to show them love and affection. Your partner is going to need you this coming weekend. Maybe they're just going to need you to show up on their arm and look beautiful. Um, but more than likely, they're going to be going through something a little bit tumultuous, especially if you're with a Sagittarius, that, that is going, going to require Capricorn. Happy Capricorn season, by the way. Um, that is going to require that you listen and understand and just be there for them. And I think you guys are actually very good at this, to be totally honest with you. You are very, very good about this as long as you understand. You're going to have to open your heart wide to really understand, but you're going to be supportive and be there. Um, this is also the energy of maybe being a little too understanding and be willing, being willing to be a little too supportive. If somebody, listen, and you'll know this right away, Capricorn, if somebody does not deserve your energy, you need to keep your energy from them. There it might be a temptation coming into next weekend for you to want to be supportive and forgive somebody. I mean, forgive, fine. That forgiveness is about you healing your own soul and your own heavy heart. But Capricorn, there is some things that should not be forgotten and some people don't deserve your efforts. And so if you know these, this person to be one of those people, please, please don't. Please don't, because there might be an energy next weekend of somebody coming back in and trying to make you, you know, trying, like playing on your affections, playing on your good nature. Be aware of that. Um, your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. So there you go. This is your new moon. Like that's, that's freaking phenomenal. We have your new moon. Oh, we have a new moon in Capricorn, new moon in Capricorn on December 26th. So look for that to start even December 26th, December 26th. You may actually be getting what you've wanted for quite some time, especially if you've been actively looking for a mate, making a breakthrough or finally making a breakthrough with your current mate so that they are more supportive. It's like what you've been trying to communicate to them, what you've been trying to show them, what you've been trying to um, say to them. They finally get it. They finally get trying to reposition that they finally get how to treat you and how to be with you and how and, and that you need them they finally get it they finally understand this is like a major breakthrough but it's good because it's something that you need because your energy needs to be in other places right now this is also the energy of having a huge potential to be able to meet somebody that is actually loving that will actually love you that will actually take care of you so please, at the very least, get your manifestation on Capricorn, because like I said, you've been doing your hard work and you do your hard work all the time. And now that Jupiter is in Capricorn, this is a great time for you to be very blatant and blunt about what you want, because you know how to communicate and get those good, get those goods out of Jupiter for the next year. So please, at the very least, write your manifestations for that new moon. Please, please, please write them down and make love one of them because you will receive the love that you want. Somebody who is supportive and long-term and wants you like like Cupid wants a tush to aim at. You know what I'm saying? Like, do it. Take aim. Take aim. Not you, but like take aim at love. Take aim at receiving love. 
like let that love in, welcome it in, make sure that you do your new moon manifestations and plant that seed, especially on your new moon, because honestly, you're going to be setting the target and hitting the target for whatever you invite in. Ooh. Ooh, Capricorn. That's some good news. Aquarius. Aquarius. 22. Okay. All right, new, oh, Aquarius, new love. New love is coming to you, and this is love that you've been wishing for. This is star-studded love. This is from the stars, like falling out of the sky. So it may not be expected, which is good, but it is something that you've been hoping for and wanting for quite some time, and here it is. You've been wishing on stars, right? And you are the star card, but that is more having to do with the truth right? And wish fulfillment based on broadening of your mind and understanding the situation and being honest with yourself. This is about you actually receiving something that you've been wishing for for quite some time. Are you ready? Are you ready to receive? Ask yourself that question. The only way to be ready to receive is to have arms wide open and open up your heart. And, and, and I think maybe this holiday season will help you. It, may, it might make you vulnerable or unusually emotional, which might actually attract the person that you that is interested in you um, simply because it shows a softer side of you that you don't often see and that is very very attractive to people to uh, uh, somebody to be uh, emotional vulnerability is actually very attractive to people because it means that there will be an exchange there will be you know something passing from one to the other it won't just be them giving or you giving and, and nobody receiving receiving love is a sign of trust it's a sign of confidence in another person and so aquarius prepare yourself to be open-hearted because there is new love coming to you next weekend um or thereafter it's time to release negative energy full moon in scorpio have you been holding on ask yourself that question have you been holding on to some hurt, some pain in the past? Because it's ready to be done. And it's so ironic that I was just telling you the way, just like Scorpio, I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio or you've dealt with Scorpio in the past, but there is an energy of whatever you've dealt with in the past, whatever has hurt you or caused you pain, your gift is being able to release that this coming weekend, Aquarius, and be able to open up yourself to something new. There's something, it could very well be that you've been in a long-term relationship for too long, a long-term, too long relationship um, that you have not been able to let go of, or you've been um, holding on to a concept of a relationship of what this ideal is. And that has been what is shutting you off from the realities that want to come into you. You know, I ever heard that, I think, who was it that reposted this? Um, don't let your boyfriend keep you from your husband. Yeah, it was Missy. I'll, I'll attach her if I can link it. It was from um, Saltwater Hills to Row. She's phenomenal if anybody gets a chance to see her. She's Aquarius. <laughs> Maybe that's why I was thinking of her. But there was this energy of, have you been holding on to a concept, a dream, or, or even a person that is just a concept or dream for too long? And that's what's blocking you from receiving these gifts. Because this this is even more profound than the energy i think the energy for scorpio is a little softer this is a shooting star man it's shooting right into your hands it's going to come rocket you out of where you are whether you like it or not so this is destiny and this is fate this is less controlled and more um ordered it's like it's been ordered for you so just prepare yourself and the only way you can really prepare yourself is to make sure that all that hurt and all that pain from the past is something that you've, first of all, accepted and honored. Um, caring for yourself and honoring what you've, how you've hurt, but honoring it in a way to, to release it. You know, to say that I don't need to keep this pain around anymore because this pain isn't actually what I used to love. What I used to love is either gone or it's in my past and really love is love it never changes the pain is associated with something ending or my routine changing or my life changing in some way and that really is actually blocking me from feeling love or being connected so it's about release let that energy go and prepare yourself for a beautiful beautiful fate coming into you next weekend
Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. All right, we're on to Pisces. 24, 42. Let's do it. Pisces, forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. And you know what's weird is I almost felt like I almost heard family. Do you have somebody to forgive in your family that's keeping you from having a successful, healthy, and open relationship? There is this energy of some maybe maybe what you really have to what you really have to forgive in them is something that you see in yourself. You know, there's this mirror, there's this reflection of looking right at yourself and looking at a shadow self or a self that is colder and harsher and 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 maybe you don't like it as much. And so you haven't acknowledged it, but really the only way to uh, melt the ice is to offer it warmth. And so this is about, what is it? Forgiveness. Forgiveness is healing and there's warmth and healing, right? Heat heals. That's what we get into when we, when we heal, we heat. That's why we have fevers. I mean, it's about allowing yourself to be warmed, allowing yourself to warm to that other part of yourself that may remind you. And that's why you don't like the person that much because you see parts of yourself in them. You know, there's this mirror aspect here. I don't know if there's somebody in your family that you need to forgive so that you can have a healthy relationship with somebody moving on. But there is definitely Pisces, this energy of needing to release and let go of some sort of energy that has shamed you or that you've held to for quite some time and it's it's impeded any kind of true love to come in this coming weekend is letting go there's a lot of releasing going on this weekend i can already see it in the cards so you have a really deep release to let go and i do feel like this has to do with um oh the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini okay i couldn't have said this better myself this is an excellent energy so your gift is clarity and clarification. It could be a message, a word, it could be an apology, but more than likely it's information that helps you understand. And it's actually the ability to communicate with somebody. You may actually have to talk this out. Be prepared next weekend to get the opportunity to tell people what you really feel, what you were really feeling, what you really went through, and what you really felt about them, how much disappointment, how much hurt, how much upset. It will be primed next weekend for you to have this kind of conversation because not only will you have the right words to say, Pisces, they will have open ears and receive what you have to say. This is your chance. This is your time. Don't let it pass you by because you absolutely need this so that you can heal and welcome in the beautiful depth of love that, that you want to share. Even if you're in a long-term relationship, if it's been having issues, if it's been clogged up, if it's, if it's, if your, your, you know, um, spouse, your partner has been unhappy or upset with you, it's because there's some sort of block from the past that's, that's disabling you. This is the weekend to be able to talk about it, not necessarily with your partner. If you're in a long term, talk about it with who you need to talk about it with. And confront them. There's something that needs to be confronted here. And this next weekend is the weekend to do it. Whoa. I'm not saying that's easy, Pisces, but it's powerful. Aries. Okay. Aries. What is the energy coming toward you in love and romance? for this coming weekend. Aries, simple acts of kindness, gentleness. This is somebody who's very delicate and very gentle, very quiet. You could be dealing, this is Virgo energy. So it's very nurturing. I mean, it works very hard. It cultivates to nurture. So it invests constant amounts of time. This is also a very Cancerian energy. There's an energy around, around you this coming weekend, Aries, that is asking either you or them to nurture to cultivate, to be patient, to be kind. It's those small things that are going to mean the most next week. And this could be very well for you. Like the fact that your, your partner is tender and gentle and the little things that they do, noticing that the little things that they do mean so much to you and actually mean more to you than anything. Know that they feel the same way about you. So it's not big things, big expensive gifts. It's not about that. It's about 
inviting them to spend time with you and remembering your, their favorite meal. It's those little things that are going to say so much and help you fall in love even deeper this coming weekend, Aries. Look at the bigger picture, a full moon in Sagittarius. You've taken aim, you've taken aim at where you want to go. So this could be a relationship that's picking up, a relationship that is um, um, moving to the next level. Uh, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but this is your arrow has hit its mark. So full on in love and um, making plans for the future because that's what Sagittarius is do. They take aim and they think, where am I going to be six months from now? Where are you going to be six months from now? I think you're going to be in a deeper relationship with this person. Now, if you're totally single, there is an energy of having choices and having options and basically now being very clear Aries, knowing what you want because I feel like in the past you feel like you've always missed the target for some reason and maybe it's because you've been attracted to something too grand, too ambitious, too powerful, too energetic when really what your heart wanted was to be loved and cared for and to have somebody that you could care for and so now you finally hit the mark in yourself so that you can realize it, you've realized what you really want and now that you know what you want you'll know exactly what to look for in other people Ooh, aries this is a very romantic energy so i'm gonna give you a ho 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 get your freak on aries get your freak on why because if you are in a long-term relationship or you're on a, you're in a new relationship that's just starting to pick pick up this is very warm and tender and gentle, delicate energy that is going to be have a, a serious sensual overtone. There's a lot of spending personal one-on-one -on -one time with somebody because it's not about the gifts you give. It's about the focus and this is them being extremely focused on you and you being extremely focused on them and you know what happens on those warm winter nights when that kind of focus gets, uh, gets into gear the bells ring i'm giving you a ho 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 enjoy yourself um we'll move on to taurus 3204 let's do this taurus take a chance on love i have been seeing this card for you this card always comes up this is you traveling, you going somewhere, you either meeting a person where you are or you meeting them along the way. This is somebody that has the same hopes, same dreams, you being in a partnership where you can go long term with or finding and being with a partner that is going to go long term with you. Taurus, this is the energy of long term happiness. You are going, if you, if, if you don't have anybody in your life this coming weekend, you're going to meet them. You're going to meet them. You're going to be led right to them or you're going to join the activity or decide to commit yourself to the new job, whatever that's going to lead you to them because they, they have the same focus as you do. You see these two, they're riding side by side, emotionally compatible, headed toward the same dream, the same goal. They have the same vision. So if you haven't met them yet, this coming weekend, you're either going to meet them or you're going to join that club, take that job, or set on that journey that they're on too. And this is it. This is the final leg of that of that journey. You're going to find each other. This is this is when that sort of this is when you lock it into place. Now we move on to the mood card. Your commitment is being tested interesting so this speaks more to couples are you headed in the same direction do you want the same things have you felt like there was some sort of divergence between you and the person that you love do you see the traveler in that moon i always think of a traveler oh little santa claus ho 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 and through the sky ringing that bell but there's definitely this energy of a traveler do you see i always see that traveler shape like a backpacker it feels like you may have been thinking that you and your long-term partner have not wanted the same things, have not been on the same journey. So this is the time to get back on track. I do believe that there is an energy that you two, you two can still get back on track with each other. You haven't diverged that much. You haven't gone off path that much. It's also, 
you could be saying goodbye to somebody who you love because they're going on a long trip or a long journey. And that is going to test your commitment to each other. Or you may be, you know, having to fly overseas for a couple of months for work. Something like that distance and travel is going to take you away from each other. Maybe you went home for the holidays, right? And you had to leave that person behind. Or that person lives close to your home, so you'll have to travel away from them. There is an energy of long distance testing your relationship and seeing how committed you are to each other. There might be a lot of travel involved in your the future of the two of you staying together. Um, a lot of travel required for the two of you to stay together. Okay. All right. You can handle that. Gemini. 3523. Okay, Gemini. Ooh, somebody has been mm, looking at you. Somebody's been looking at you from afar. I don't know if you're on TV or if you're on television, but somebody has been peeping you, maybe through social media. Sp I'm not going to call it stalking. It's not stalking. It's admiring. Um, but they have not gotten up the energy or they haven't gotten up the nerve to actually come and talk to you. This could be an air sign or some kind of ice princess. Ice could be also Scorpio. Um, Scorpio is water, but it can be very ice, could be very cold um, and very for forbidding. Um, so you could be dealing with one of them and there's definitely this energy, especially if you're dealing with Scorpio, of them keeping an eye on you, looking at you, looking at you from afar, um, but admiring you and wondering about you and wanting to learn about you before they actually had the ability to come up and talk to you. So, um, Prepare yourself for that. There is definitely somebody, and I think you might already know who this person is. In fact, this coming weekend, you might discover that they have been looking at your stuff, like liking a lot of your photos, or um, somebody you might get word or message that, that they've been thinking about you, or they were talking about you, or somebody was asking for you. Gemini, interesting. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. I don't know if you're gonna, if you're sure how you're gonna feel about this. Um, this is energy that A, on one side fascinates you and on the other side kind of creeps you out um, because you like that you, you like the attention. You like that somebody is looking at you, but at the same time, it really irritates the crap out of you that they just can't show up and say something to you. You're such an exceptional communicator, Gemini, that you forget most people are not. <clears throat> and it's hard for them to put into words what they think and especially what they feel. So Gemini, this could be you... Um, um, just coming onto this information or having to find a way to understand where they're coming from. They might be a Pisces. It might be a Pisces that you're dealing with. Somebody who emotionally doesn't communicate what they feel that well because um, their communication is more intuitive. And so it's almost like they've, they've been communicating with you by looking at your photos, but and they wanted you to catch on. They wanted you to realize it so that you would say something to them. Who is this energy? And see, you on the outside may think that that's manipulative. It's actually not manipulative. It's the way, especially if you're dealing with a water sign, it's the way they communicate. They're not trying to manipulate you. They're, they communicate intuitively. Like two water signs can sit amongst each other and never use words. They just know each other's feeling. So it's, it's very difficult. So I think it, it kind of spoils water signs a little bit, especially if you're dealing with a water sign. Now, another air sign, if this is another air sign, they're going to be connecting with you. They're going to be contacting you. They were just sort of peeping you to see um, what you were all about. But somebody has definitely been admiring you, Gemini. And that communication is about to come through loud and clear. Somebody has been thinking about you, but not sure. That's what the meditate and contemplate is about. Trying to understand their emotions. It'd be really interesting for you guys to see um, the extended to see who's coming toward you on the extended like who this person is because there's definitely somebody that's been trying to find the right words find the nerve find the self-esteem to actually come out and talk to you I think you have an idea of who this person is I, I, I already feel that cancer 3909 Let's do this, Cancer. Practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. 
this is very Virgo energy. And I feel like there's an energy of you having to let go and release some sort of hurt that you've had, that you've buried, that you are trying to say, oh, I'm over it. It's in the past. You're not over it. It's not in the past. And forgiveness is the key. All the water signs are getting the same card, like not the same card, but the same energy. So there is an energy going into 2020, especially coming on next weekend when it concerns romance. So there's, we have to let go. We have to release. If there's something that you've been holding on, maybe Peter Pan energy, this could be a Gemini. There's an energy of, I'm not saying that you're in a relationship with somebody. I'm saying this relationship has probably long been over, but there is an energy of just having to forgive somebody and actually let it go to the point where you're not angry about it or disappointed about it anymore. You're not upset where you can be in the presence of this person and not care and not put those creepy crawlies up your spine. And remember, I'll say it to you, I said it, I said it to Scorpio, this kind of energy comes in when the universe is knocking on your door and say, hey, we have a package waiting, but you don't have anywhere for us to put it. So this is an energy of practice compassion. Um, you may be put into the presence of an ex-lover or an old lover or even a current lover that just needs you to listen to them and not talk at them. Just hear what they have to say. Um, this is definitely about being on the receptive end of hearing what people have to say um, in terms of forgiving and letting go. Not in terms of forgiving and like letting bygones be bygones and just accepting them back into your life. This is telling me that there's a little message coming in for some somebody that you really need to have a chance to forgive. And, and it's got something to do, this action and how you handle it has got everything to do with how you move forward and how ready you are and prepared you are for your future. So I'm not saying being lovey-dovey with somebody. I'm just saying open your ears and listen. And this is the key for you guys. Don't listen to just accept. Listen to understand, how does this fit into my world? Is this right for me? That's something that we need to be better at, Cancerians. But this energy for romance is going to serve us very, very well. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Virgo. There's definitely communication. That's what I'm getting. Mercurial, a feeling of mercurial energy coming through that next weekend where um, you may be asking somebody's forgiveness or if somebody's asking yours, remember how uncomfortable it is to ask for forgiveness. Finding the right words and definitely knowing how to talk to somebody, knowing how to communicate with somebody or meeting somebody that knows how to communicate you, with you or knows how basically is helping you put your words into the right language of love. Mm. Okay, Cancer, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Well, this is some fire cardinal energy and you know that challenges us. We're very, very challenged. Uh, we're squared to Aries, so it's very challenging for us to take on that aggressive go forward. So this is telling me, though, that you're the one that's going to need to open yourself up and, and make that communication and talk to them. It's going to have to come from you first. Now, we are not good at this. I feel most cancers honestly letting this opportunity slip them by because pass them by because of the fact that we are not good at making that first move. So Cancerians, you listen, you have to do what makes you comfortable. You can't force yourself into anything, but this is the energy of you welcoming something into your life by opening your, by making that first move toward something, like making that first step. It's almost like your person may be too shy. Your person may be hidden. Your person may want to blend in and need you to draw them out. But this is usually you, isn't it? It's almost like this, this inverted, it's almost like inversion of tendencies, of your Cancerian tendencies. So, um, you're going to need to be the one that makes the first move. Cancers hate this energy. We hate this energy. Of course, this new move might be to forgive somebody. Let me think on this for a second. Practice compassion. Compassion. 
Of course, this also could be a step in the process, right? After you are able to forgive to somebody, if somebody, now you have the power to move forward and let something new into your life. And didn't I say that? That energy of um, new opportunities knocking on your door, like your package trying to be delivered, but the door is still locked or the closet is too full. They've got no place to put it. Once you forgive somebody, it's almost like a marker, almost like a timestamp of there's going to be a message from an old lover to come in, forgive them, let them go. And then right afterwards, something's going to come charging at you. Let me know how that goes, Cancerian. I will definitely let you know if anything happens. I feel like I never read for myself, though. So you let me know, Cancer. Let's move on to Leo. Leo at 4512. Okay. Leo, listen with your heart. You are listening but need to hear with a loving heart. Okay, so there could be a little bit of tension when it comes to the home front. There is also this... Um, responsibility this coming weekend of being the one that shows love by being soft and listening, having to have an open hearted conversation. Just let them vent to you, Leo. You don't have to solve their problems. Really. They just want a sounding board. They want to be able to talk and just be listened to just be heard. So allow them to just be heard this coming weekend. You don't have to, please don't talk back. Like, like don't, because that's really not what they want. This is more for a long-term partnership, but this is also seek to understand what other people are saying, you know, because there might be a message of love that is hidden in a lot of convoluted things, a lot of, you know, uh, you know, spewing out a lot of facts or, you know, a, a lot of, um, like trying to look, somebody trying to look really smart around you or talking a lot and saying a lot of things or it's, it, there's, there's, in other words, innuendos in what they're saying. You'll probably, probably be picking up some innuendos in what this person is saying, but they'll be very, very subtle about it. They may be, um, lack their own sense of security. A personal issue reaches resolution. Okay. So this is more long-term. This is Cancerian energy. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. Just open your heart and listen to them because honestly, Leo, it's going to get you far. Um, let them um, forgive them. Forgive them. Be understanding. Be kind. Don't rip into them because it's not going to help the situation. The way through this situation is through kindness and understanding. Um, a personal issue, issue reaches resolution. Something has been building, hasn't it? This energy of feeling. This is big time Cancerian energy. I wonder what's up with you and a Cancerian, Leo. But this is also calling you to be intuitive and not expect. Right? Not expect somebody who's real good at words and can put it all together for you. But instead, hear with your heart. Hear what they're not saying. And maybe somehow ask them about that. Ask them about what interests them. Get them talking about something that they're comfortable with in order to ease them into talking about this thing that they're uncomfortable about. Interesting energy. Like I said, you might also be hearing from somebody or seeing somebody show an interest in you that is really subtle about their interest in you. You know, oh, I really, I really love your hair. Um, those earrings are so pretty on you. Or, wow, no, that jacket is really awesome. There's that energy of being able to understand their interest is more than just what they're letting on. Leo, we're moving to Virgo. Virgo at 4842. All right, Virgo, your energy. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love each other deeply. You're either, this is some sort of your home, your hearth, your motherhood. You could be... Um, this is some sort of mother energy, somebody who wants to nurture you, somebody who wants to take care of you. This is the energy of feeling, feeling, being 
so comfortable around somebody, you feel at home with them. It could also be the first weekend that you meet their parents or that they meet yours. This is also a very vaginal card. So this could be getting that sh on about chicka bow bow, conceiving some babies. I'm telling you, Virgo. Virgo be ho, ho, ho in it. Virgos might be, you might be ho, ho, ho in it this coming weekend. Why? It's not because you're a freak, even though we know you are. It's because there's such warmth around you. You feel so comfortable and you feel so happy that you're actually sort of looser and open up wide like a flower. But this could be definitely pregnancy, you know, having that little drip, that little sperm come in and start to form that family. So you better watch out because you like making like a little bunny rabbit this coming weekend. Work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. Are you dealing with a Scorpio Virgo? There's definitely See this open cup, ready to receive, um, wide open, ready to receive, but it may be ready to receive. You mm, Work through your fears. You're afraid that there's going to be a pattern repeated that you saw with your mother or your parents, something to do with generational karma or patterning. Um, and this is what you need to release in order to move forward and feel good about yourself and, and feel open and feel that calm, that relax, that confidence that you want to feel. This is about um, releasing past trauma or past hurt and opening yourself up to realizing you are separate from them. You are not them. This is about healing those wounds and those expectations that you have to replicate what your parents did for you. You don't have to replicate what your parents did for you. You have to get on, move on, and welcome in something new. Oh, that energy came out loud and clear, Virgo. I love it. Okay, last but not least is Libra at 51.15. Libra. Your uh, romance prediction was really, really interesting this weekend. And that's on this VOD page too, if you guys want to go to it. Um, embrace your emotions. You done found the unicorn, Libra. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. I think that you want to up your higher standards, uh, hi have higher standards in, in your expectations or your wants from somebody. This is also you maybe acknowledging that you found your unicorn, the one that you never thought that you'd find, this magical beast that you thought wasn't even real. But guess what? They are real and you can ride on them. So hold up, hold up. Libra, you may be ho ho hoing this coming weekend. Well, get your ho 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 on. That's all your. That's your. That's your prerogative, Libra. But there's definitely this energy of somebody you could take a ride on, somebody who is very special in particular, somebody who's in other words going to literally make you go ah la 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 la, or be surrounded in an environment where in an, in an environment where with your long term boo you can you can just cuddle up and be all that you guys want to be you'll definitely have some very sexually charged alone time this coming weekend with your long term boo or with your short term boo see finding somebody is more special to you than you realized seeing their unicorn for the first time or meeting your unicorn for the first time but this is you definitely having high standards and wanting somebody to be special this card is telling me that you are looking for that something special and you are listen accepting those parts of you that you need to accept before somebody else will accept you. And then you will find the right person for you, Libra. You'll find the right person for you when you get real with your emotions. If you continue to try to adjust your emotions to other people's expectations, then you're not gonna end up with a unicorn. You're gonna end up with a fucking donkey. You're gonna end up with Dominic the donkey. And you don't want no donkey, you want a unicorn. And a unicorn is definitely not a donkey. So this is you having to get real with who you are and accept who you are and be you out loud so that you can find that right person, that special person for you. Nothing will come of this situation void, of course. Oh, God, I hate when these are fucking up. I hate when the moon card changes the entire reading, but here it is. Um, in other words, this person is just a fantasy. 
this, whoever you were interested in, I don't know if this is even long-term, you could be in a long-term relationship where you realize you woke, you almost like woke up out of the dream and realize this person was not who I imagined they were. This person is not, almost like seeing them. Um, well, hold on. It's almost like realizing this person is, is not for you. That's the energy of waking up and realizing this person was a dream, that the, their best characteristics and their best features were something that you made up in your dream. And you imagine them more than you imagine them into life. You didn't, this isn't, this isn't a real situation and this won't last. Now, there's one other interpretation of this, which I hope it is. But if your partner is really emotional this weekend, it won't last. That's what it's saying. Don't worry about it. If they need to cling to you and they need a lot of support, give them that support. Let them ride on you because the truth is it's going to end soon. It's not going to last. This isn't like a new trend or a new habit that they're setting. They just need your support temporarily this coming weekend. Could also be vice versa where you find yourself in a situation where you need somebody's support it won't it won't last long term it won't go forever but it's definitely like you need you need to be hugged you need a hug this coming weekend oh libra i rang that bell for you too i hope that that bell is what you focus on because honestly how about this if you get your freak on it's not gonna it's not gonna last in other words if you meet somebody new that you're really attracted to this coming weekend, enjoy it because this is a one-off situation and it won't last long-term. FYI, but at the same time, so what? Enjoy yourself. It's the holidays. Oh, Be present in the moment and don't question it. Don't think that you owe anybody an explanation, Libra. Just let yourself be in the moment and don't expect it to last forever. Happy holidays, guys. Please do pick, um, please do support the channel and check out the extended link below. I am so, so happy to answer your comments and see what you thought of these readings or see what you're experiencing this week. I will see you next week to check up on who was a ho, ho, ho and who was left out in the snow. See you guys.